Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedia again. Today we're back um, and we're going to be working in Pro Tools again. And uh, today's topic is going to be the tempo ruler. Okay, the tempo ruler is very important because it lets you create your own tempo maps. This is crucial when you're pre-producing uh, pre a song. Okay, during the pre-production stage, you want to try, you know, different tempos for a song. Maybe you have a song idea, maybe you have a guitar riff, and you're not sure about the tempo. You want to test maybe 120, maybe that's too soft so or too slow, and then you try 130, maybe 150, maybe you go back to 120. So you're going to be playing around with different tempos, different uh, BPMs. Now, once you have that set... Um, you might have tempo changes within the song. You might have uh, choruses that play faster, and then you might have verses that play slower. So those tempo changes, you need to program before you start recording. And you program them using the tempo map, um, or I guess I should say you program a tempo map from your tempo router. So as you know... Um, Here's your edit window. If you see this little red arrow here, if you double click there, that lets you set your tempo. That's the tempo, I guess the main tempo. That's where the song starts. So right now it's set to 155 and set to a resolution of a quarter note. So basically every uh, quarter note is going to play at 155 BPMs. So that's cool, right? That's fine. Now, uh, the tempo ruler, you can see there, you don't see any changes. It's just... 155 and that's pretty much it throughout the rest of the song now the tempo ruler you can uh hide or show from the same place that all the rulers are hidden or shown which is here on the top left there's this little black arrow you can click there and then select your tempo ruler and it's there now the tempo ruler has its own as you can see its own uh, gray arrow that if you click there you can expand or collapse that ruler when you click and you expand it, you can actually keep making it bigger and bigger, right? So, why is this helpful? Because this lets you create tempo changes, okay? You can add a tempo change at a certain part of the song. For example, let's, um, let me expand that. And let's suppose that, yes, the song starts at 155, but then in bar 21, I want it to jump from 155 to 120 so it's going to get a little slower how do you do that well make sure you're in grid mode okay which we are now we are and then you basically hover on top of that bar 21 click there and um also when you're in grid mode you might want to check um uh, either one bar or you know half note just so that you make sure that you when you click it's right there so the playback head is right there, or I guess your playback cursor is at bar 21. Then you can go here to tempo, and then to the right of tempo, there's this little plus sign. If you click on that plus sign, as you can see, I just hover the mouse, and it says add tempo change. So you click there, and you're going to add a tempo change there. Uh, you're going to type the BPM 120, because that's the tempo that we wanted to add. The resolution is still going to be quarter note. And as you can see, the location is bar 21, beat 1. So right there, the first quarter note of that bar, we want it to start out at 120, and then snap to bar. If you press OK, you can see, actually, if I expand this, and then you click here and drag down, you can see the tempo goes from 150, and then it goes down to 120. You can see it on this vertical ruler. You can see it goes down to 120, and then it keeps at 120. Now, if you wanted to go back to 150, let's say at bar 27, you repeat the same process. You're in grid mode, you go to bar 27, click there, and then plus next to tempo. So you add a tempo change and you go back to 155, type 155, press OK, it's back to 155. Now let's test that. Let's, let's see if that actually works. I'm going to press play from bar 17 and see what happens. We should hear an obvious tempo change. Uh, starting at 21 and then at 27 again. So here we go. So that's 155. That's cool. That's that's the same tempo. Okay. It is slower. That's 120. That's good. Bar 25. Bar 26. And now 
155 again of bar 27. So that's how you program your tempo changes in Pro Tools using the tempo ruler. If you're working with, you know, pop music, modern, I guess, radio oriented music, chances are that you're going to play the same tempo throughout the song. So you don't really need to program anything past the first, the very first tempo. That should be fine. But if you're doing more progressive music, maybe progressive rock, more experimental genres, um, chances are you will definitely have tempo changes. So that's a really important tool that you might want to have in your tool set. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PC Audio Labs and we'll be happy to help you. We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this or using that or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well, then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.